Hi, my name is Gordon C. Nine years old primary school from Irving Primary School. So over here, last lesson, we have solved this question, okay? So for this lesson, something special, we just change the square to a cube, okay? And then we add the bridge to zero. So over here, I'll show you what they like. So this part, what if we use the infinitesimal equivalent? Equivalent. Split it. They double compare which is correct, which is wrong. And they are both the same. So here, we know we got 1 over x squared minus 1 over x squared. Have you noticed that whatever that I get, it's over to 0, even when, when we straight away use this. And this is wrong as infinity minus infinity. And then you go and get the answer from nowhere. Which cannot. But well, like this means that this one also wrong. So cannot use this method. Um, let us tell one thing. We are just comparing to see is the infinitesimal equivalent always correct or sometimes correct, sometimes wrong, or what? Of course, not always wrong. So, let's see. Let's use another three methods, okay? To compare whether which is correct, which is wrong. So we can use Maclaurin series. Second, we can use the double angle. Third, we can use the log rule. But actually, maybe can use other method. Maybe cannot. Okay. So let's first use double angle. Okay. But the most important thing until now that I know is we cannot split because that if we split right. Cannot. Infinity minus infinity cannot say zero. Okay. As you are not trying to try bigger, try smaller. So let's see. So over here. And then here we got y minus one over cosine x right hat and then here this part zero over zero still I need to do this because then to show that over here is I didn't change the question and let me just tell that this part is already so here you could say 0 over 0 minus 0 over 0, but let's just continue for this one, okay? So, 
now we can use the log those rule, but this will change into square. Okay. So here. Cosine x and square. Then this part, since these two common denominator, okay? So here we become cosine x minus 1, which we have take it out, which as this part is a determinable form. So it's still 0 over 0. Like this, okay. So it's still a zero over zero. Now we can use the double angle formula. So let me write it down. So the double angle formula, cosine 2x is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x, right? So here, 2 sine square x, which this part, you need a negative, so that 1 minus. But then here, because that is instead the opposite. So... 2 sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 x. Okay? So now, negative. So this part, let's see. Here, x square, this two can come down sine square x over 2. As here, here don't have the 2, so here we do half. Okay? So now, but then we need a third here. So, over here. The denominator we over four, so the denominator we need to time the form. So that's it. Is that determinable form or is that indeterminable form? It's all indeterminable form zero over zero. Okay. So here now we can use the infinitesimal equivalent. Equivalent. Which here becomes a negative half. So this answer is a negative half. Have you noticed that even in multiple choice questions, their answer are different? So how to check which are correct, which are wrong? Well, we didn't know this part of working is wrong, but we're not sure whether it's the answer wrong. Okay? So let's use another method. The Lockdown's rule. We don't want to write it as second square x. We don't want them to write it as 1 over cosine square x. Why? Same reason as that lesson is because that we can common denominator put the denominator of the denominator to the, I mean the numerator's denominator to the denominator.
And I do notice that this part is a determinable form. So let's see. It's still a zero over zero. So correct. This part. So now, again 0 over 0, so continue. Like this. So let me sub in. in. Minus. So now the dot 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 that minus. So So like this, but you might be wondering, won't it be x minus x and 0 over 3? 0 over x cubed, which is 0, but actually it's not that answer, okay? You might be thinking of the high order, but it isn't really that true, okay? F 
shows you behind still heads. And thus, over here, so, so this part, Okay, so can we take out the axe? Yes. That's what we need to do. And then after that, here we minus. Although in front. It's zero but behind. So here these two we can minus. But then before we minus the others, we can done this. Okay, so these two are already no more. So what to do? You actually can take out an X cube. Because that the rest all have an X cube. So here, which will be 1 over 6, negative 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3. Then after that, plus your 1 over 5 factorial minus 2 over 15 bracket x squared plus so on and so forth okay so here this part what's so special okay you notice the rest all have this part right which anything times zero is a zero so this part behind are all zero which you and these two also simplify and now what you left is to calculate these two, so you calculate them, become negative 3 over 6, simplify negative half. So the answer is negative half, means that, so now you get it that y, y isn't the infinitesimal equivalent, isn't always correct, so the natural lesson We'll continue seeing whether is it most probably it is okay, strict speaking, is it correct or is it wrong? Because that how should I know? Just see most of them is it correct or most of them are wrong. Because that most of them are wrong means that it's strict speaking are wrong. Actually although there could be infinity questions as just change a little bit also change the whole question. But we'll just look at the similar type of questions, okay? So now we'll end here. Next time we'll continue. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And before we end, let me just tell you that at this, this comes from the uh, Macalorian series, but it's because that had the high order. But this part, we can't use the high order, okay? So now we'll end here. Next time we'll continue. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, tune in for more, and thank you for your watching.